Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day you have given us. Today we are going to read your heavenly words. Make us understand the words which we are going to read. Be with us and guide us from the beginning till the end. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Now let us read 1 Kings chapter 8 verses 22 to 45. And Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands toward heaven. And he said, Lord, God of Israel, there is no God like thee in heaven above or on earth beneath, who keepest covenant and mercy with thy servants, who walk before thee with all their heart, who has kept with thy servant David, my father, that which thou promised him, thou didst speak, who with thy mouth, and has fulfilled it with thine hand, as it is this day. Therefore now, Lord God of Israel, Keep with thy servant David, my father, that which thou promised him, saying, There shall not fail thee a man in my sight to sit on the throne of Israel, so that thy children take heed of their way, that they walk before me as thou hast walked before me. And now, O God of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee, be verified, which thou didst speak unto thy servant David, my father. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain thee, how much less this house that I have built. Yet have thou respect unto the prayer of thy servant, and to his supplication, O Lord my God, to hearken unto the cry and to the prayer which thy servant prayeth before thee today, that thine eyes may be open toward this house night and day, even toward the place of which thou hast said, My name shall be there, that thou mayest hearken unto the prayer which thy servant shall make toward this place, and hearken thou to the supplication of thy servant and of thy people Israel, when they shall pray toward this place, and hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and when thou hearest forgive. If any man trespass against his neighbor, and an oath be laid upon him, to cause him to swear, and the oath come before thine altar in this house, then hear thou in heaven, and do, and judge thy servants, condemning the wicked, to bring his way upon his head, and justify the righteous, to give him according to his righteous. When thy people Israel are smitten, down before the enemy, because they have sinned against thee, and shall turn again to thee, and confess thy name, and pray, and make supplication unto thee in this house. Then hear thou in heaven, and forgive the sin of thy people Israel, and bring them again unto the land which thou gavest unto their fathers. When heaven is shut up, and there is no rain, because they have sinned against thee, if they pray toward this place, and confess thy name, and turn from their sin, when thou afflictest them. Then hear thou in heaven, and forgive the sin of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, that thou teach them the good way in which they should walk, and give rain upon thy land, which thou hast given to thy people for an inheritance. If there be in the land famine, if there be pestilence, lightning mild you, locust or if there be any caterpillar, if their enemy beseech them in the land of their cities, whatsoever plague, whatsoever sickness there is, whatsoever prayer and supplication is made by any man or by all thy people Israel, who shall know every man the plague of his own heart and spread forth his hand toward this house. Then hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place and forgive and do and give to every man according to his ways, thou heart, thou knowest, for thou, even thou only knowest the heart of all the children of men, that they may fear thee all the days that they live in the land which thou gavest unto our fathers. Moreover, concerning a foreigner who is not of thy people Israel, but cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake. For they shall hear of thy great name, and of thy strong hand, and of thine outstretched arm, when he shall come and pray toward this place. Hear thou in heaven thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the foreigner calleth to thee for, that all people of earth may know thy name, to fear thee, and do thy 
people Israel and that they may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. If thy people go out to battle against their enemy, wherever thou shall send them and shall pray unto the Lord toward the city which thou hast chosen and toward the house that I have built for thy name. Then hear thou in heaven their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. Amen. Now let us read the Revelation chapter 9. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason for the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locust upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither nor green thing, neither any tree, but only those men who have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months, and their torment was like torment of a scorpion, when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locust were like horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were like faces of men. And they had hair like the hair of women, and their teeth were like the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, who is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apelion. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more year after. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Loose the four angels who are bound in the great river, he prays. And the four angels were loosed, who were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone and the heads of the horse were like the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone by these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouths for their power is in their mouth and in their tails for their tails were like serpents and had heads and with them they do hurt and the rest of the men who were not killed by these plagues, yet repent not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship demons and idols of gold and silver and browns and stone and wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murderers, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. Amen. Now let us read Mark chapter 1 verses 28 to 32 and immediately his fame spread abroad throughout all the region round about galilee and forthwith when they were come out of the synagogue they entered into the house of simon and andrew with james and john but simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever and straightway they tell him of her and he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And in the evening, when the sun did set, they brought unto him 
all that were deceased and those who were possessed with demons. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for helping us read your heavenly verse. Nowadays, we are hearing many fevers and diseases are spreading. So as you cured the sickness of Simon's mother-in-law, cure the, cure the people who are sick. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. God bless you.